Hello and welcome to my video all about how to make faux candles from cardboard and hot glue. This is an easy DIY project for Halloween and in order to follow along you will need a hot glue gun and some clear glue sticks, some cardboard tubes in different sizes, some glue, some battery powered tea lights, a small amount of white felt, some white gesso or other white primer and some white spray paint, some thin card such as cereal box card, a paintbrush, some scissors and a utility knife. The first step is to cut the outer tube, which is the wider tube, to size. I use the utility knife carefully to cut the thicker tube and I use scissors to shape the thinner toilet roll tubes. The size that you make these candles is totally down to personal preference. Note that it's more realistic to have a wavy top rather than one that's straight across. You then need to cut a circle of white felt to fit inside each of the outer tubes. Then cut a cross in the middle of each circle and make that into a hole that's big enough to fit over the flame of the battery powered tea light. You then need to take a narrower tube and cut a section to go inside each of your candles. These will act as platforms to hold up your tea lights. Make sure you cut the inner tube short enough to hold the tea light just below the top of the outer tube. Next, you'll need to cut out circles from thin card that can fit inside each of the tubes. Then glue these to the top of the corresponding platforms and leave them to dry. And then the next step is where we add the hot glue. So heat up your glue gun and then apply drips of clear or white glue all around the top edges of the tubes. You want to try and do at least three layers of drips to get a more old or antique look. I did one layer, left it to cool and then repeated this over and over. To get the glue to stay near the top for the last layer or two, I left the glue gun to cool for a little while so the glue wouldn't be so runny. Once you're happy with the result, leave the glue to cool. And then the next step is to paint these candles. I discovered that spray paint won't cover the tubes very well on its own. So I decided to first paint the candles with white gesso as the base layer. If you have a different type of white primer, feel free to use that instead. As you can see, I just used a paintbrush to apply it. Once that was dry, I then took the candles outside, put a breathing mask on and sprayed a couple of layers of white matte spray paint. And here you can see the result. You can then assemble the candles by putting the platforms inside, then adding the tea lights and then adding the felt circles. If you wish, you can add some shadows and age the candles by applying a black paint and water mix on the outside and then wiping the surfaces straight away with the kitchen towel. But I personally prefer them as they are. And that's it, the candles are now complete. And here you can see some more photos. Obviously, they look particularly effective when they're all lit up. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching.